everybody. This is Alvin Brown, CEO and founder of the Center for Healing and P-Performance. And I'm an integrated P-Performance consultant and advisor, giving you tips and strategies you can use to help take your game to that next level so you can achieve optimal health and peak performance no matter where you are on your journey. I'm also the author of Journey to Personal Greatness, Mind, Body, and Soul, a blueprint for life balance and self-mastery, available at all your major bookstores, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Amazon, and in Canada, Chapters Indigo Online. All right, so this is Monday Mindset. This is the part of the week I give you three videos, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, all to deal with the mind, the body, and the soul. Monday, a little checkup from the neck up so you can tighten your mental and emotional game. Wednesday, hump day hustle. It's about the body, the structure, the function, strengthening, nutrition. How do you get this body running right? Because if you can have all the dreams you want, but if, it's, if this is broken, you're not gonna get there. Saturday, soulful Saturday, nourishing the soul, feeling authentic in who you are and being proud of it. It's also feeling abundant, like you deserve everything that's coming to you. And lately I've been focusing a lot with relationships as well. Relationships, money, all those things that can affect you on a soul level. So that's how we flow. Three videos a week, mind, body, and soul. Because I want you to drive hard. I believe in driving hard, but I want you to get there to your destination with all the wheels on and never leaving anything behind. All right, so this is Monday Mindset, little checkup. So here's a checkup, paradigm shift. That's what I'm gonna talk about real quick. This is something that I, I have I am statements that I say to myself. I have about 20 I am statements. One of the I am is, I am a paradigm shifter. I keep saying that because sometimes you get stuck doing the same thing over and over and over again and never asking, is this the best way you can do it? Is this the best way I can perform at this thing? Is this the only way that I can perform at this thing? I've been doing this for 10, 20, 30, whatever, five years, and it's not getting me where I want to go. Why don't you shift your paradigm, what you believe about this thing? Why don't you do it a little different or get a coach or get someone else to suggest, sit with somebody in the same field or outside and ask, how do you think I'm doing this? Or have you seen it anywhere else? And that's the other thing, check other industries. If you're a fitness person, let's take fitness industry. Go check out sales or car sales and see how they sell cars. Maybe you can take an idea from how they do it the way they follow up, the way they close a deal and do the same thing in there. See, it's about shifting paradigm. If you've been going in your relationships with a certain way and, and, it, and it leads to a certain argument mm -hmm. or you lead to where you're not happy in a relationship, does it always have to, do you always have to do it that way? Do you always have to come home at this certain time and sit on the couch and do this or can you shift it and break it up? See, here is my big paradigm shift. I've been doing, I've been, I set out in my business many years ago with this idea. When I created my business, I became an entrepreneur, a true entrepreneur. I was always a solopreneur, but when I decided to become an entrepreneur with people working for me and with me, that was a whole, whole other game. So I had this idea that I wanted to run my business a certain way. Alvin Brown wanted to run it a certain way. And I got stuck. I got stuck on that vision and I kept bouncing against the wall, hitting against the wall, wondering why isn't this not working? And then someone came along and nudged me and said, what you're doing is you're, you're creating this business for you. That was great when you were a solopreneur, but now that you're an entrepreneur, you got to create a business that serves a bigger market and a bigger, you got to fill that funnel instead of trying to find the one needle in the haystack that fits this one model. And that's what I was doing. I was working on my business, trying to make it fit into this round hole perfectly, perfectly fit. And I was skipping over a whole whack load. Meanwhile, here I am struggling, trying to find the right people and, and discarding a whole bunch that my right person could have been in that whole bunch. But now I've whittled it down. My advertising was saying one thing and next thing you know, my business wasn't going where it wanted to be. It got stuck and stunted because I, I, I was stuck on this one paradigm, just stuck on this one way I wanted the business to run it. It was like the only way I was thinking. And meanwhile, there was other ways I could have run it. And this person just gave me a little nudge and said, wake up, wake up, there's other ways to run. If you want to be successful in business, 
You gotta shift your paradigm. And that's the same thing in, in, in all parts of your life. If your workout's not going the way you want it to go, shift your paradigm. Try it, diff turn your foot out, do something else. If it hurts doing it this way, try doing it that way. Shift your paradigm. If you're going this way down the road and it's not working, switch your paradigm. Switch what you believe about how you should eat. You know, the food guide said eat this and cereal every morning. And that's another thing. I was eating, for instance, I was eating, let's use that example if you're not a business owner. I was eating a certain food every morning and wondering why by noon, 11 a.m. noon, I was really tired. But I believed in having this thing and I ate it for years. And I had to shift my paradigm away that I didn't need this wasn't only thing for breakfast. Because you've been taught bre breakfast means either cereal or it means something, fruits or whatever it might be. Does it always have to be that way? Switch your paradigm. So I'm going to challenge you. I want you to get your journal out. I believe in journaling. I give it to all my clients. Get your journal out. And I want you to write down what are some things that are frustrating you right now that you're just butting up against every single time. What is it? And can you, is it, can you think it differently? That's what I love about Apple and Steve Jobs. He had that, that little line, think differently. Can you shift your paradigm? Is it the only way to do something? Give that some thought, journal on it, use your think time, right? I hope you have some time that you take away to just download and think and shift your paradigm. All right, so I'm gonna challenge you. That's my challenge to you. That's my coaching to you, is to shift your paradigm on what you're doing and see if you can do it better, see if you can do it another way and improve. Because change and growth has gotta be the constant thing that you are always thinking about. All right, so check out our website. The Center for Healing and Peopleforms.com, Journey to Personal Greatness.com. We have sheets you can download. We have resources. And I'm coming at you with some coaching programs in the future. I'm working towards I want this thing to be right and I want it to be tight. So it's coming at you. Hang around, stick around with me. Let's build our tribe of people who believe in driving hard, but we want to get there with balance in our life and not give up one thing to get the next. I want you to get a million dollars or whatever it is today, a billion, whatever. I want you to get it, but I want you to be still keep your health still keep your relationships, still keep your soul, be authentic, and that's the whole goal. Let's build that community, share this video, and let's, let's do this together, all right? So until next time, shift your paradigm, change, growth, that's what I want from you, all right? Because I want you to be relentless, absolutely relentless in the pursuit of what brings you joy, and we call that personal greatness, all right? So until Wednesday, peace and love.